Welcome in to Vikings Now. I am Will Scott. Appreciate you all joining us on today's show. We're going to be getting into some Vikings news and rumors. But first, I want to know, where are you watching from? Are you, right, are you watching from Minnesota? Are you watching from Europe? Wherever you are in the world, I want to know where you're watching Vikings Now from. Go down in the comment section and let me know. Getting into our first story, so this was interesting. Pro Football Network ranked all 32 head coaches in the NFL, and they rank the five rookie coaches at the bottom, I guess because they're unproven, but they ranked Kevin O'Connell, new Vikings head coach, dead last in the National Football League, even though he won a Super Bowl last season as the Rams OC. This is ridiculous. I mean, O'Connell was one of the better head coaching hires, in the league, but when you're looking at the rankings 1 to 32, it's not entirely accurate because the rookie head coaches are at a major disadvantage in these rankings because they they ranked all the second year head coaches and above in front of them. So the the five rookie head coaches were all ranked at the bottom. So the list that matters the most is the rookie head coach list and that was this. Mike McDaniel from the Dolphins. They named him the best hire of the offseason. Do not disagree with that. Brian Dable, they ranked him number two. I personally would put O'Connell in the top three. Top three. I think he was a better hire than Hackett. I think he was a better hire than Eberflus. So I would have put O'Connell in the top three. I find it hard to believe that he is the worst hire. He just won a Super Bowl with the Rams last season, for crying out loud. The guy is a great coach. He's going to be a great coach in Minnesota. Here's what PFN said about O'Connell. Despite being a former NFL QB and coordinator, is the mystery man among the head coaching ranks. While the Vikings kept their roster mostly in place, O'Connell will clearly bring his own ideas to the table. O'Connell is a true wild card, for better or worse. So let me ask you, is Kevin O'Connell the worst head coach in the National Football League type why for yes or type in for no? I think all of you are going to be spamming in in the chat because he is one of the better hires of the NFL offseason. I really like the hire. I mean, he's an offensive genius. He learned under Sean McVay. When you're looking at hires, you have to look at where they came from. What head coach did they learn under? He was learning under McVay, arguably the best young coach in the NFL. So go down. Let me know what you think about that PFN article. Most of you, I expect, to disagree with it. By the way, be sure to mark your calendar for Thursday, June 23rd. Going to be the NBA Draft Live here on Chat Sports. We're getting close to it. Only a couple days away at this point, less than a week away. That's the sub link right there. So that's where you sub to our main Chat Sports channel, youtube.com slash Chat Sports TV. We're going to be live on YouTube and on Rumble. T-Wolves going to be interesting to see who they take. So go and subscribe to watch all of our coverage of the NBA Draft. Getting into this next story, PFN, or I should say Pro Football Focus, ranked the running back rooms in the NFL, and they put the Minnesota Vikings in the top five. Of course, it is a running back room that features Dalvin Cook, one of the most talented running backs in the league, and then Alexander Madison, who's one of the better second running backs in the NFL. And they have Ty Chandler and Wong Wu as well, some really talented young running backs. Here were their rankings. So they had the Colts at number one, or excuse me, the Browns at number one, the Colts at number two, Packers three, followed by the Vikings and Saints. I agree. I think the Vikings definitely have a top five running back room, and then the Browns probably at the top there. This running back room is legit. I mean, it's important to have depth at the running back position. It's important to have fresh legs staying on the field. And, you know, Dalvin has an injury history, right? We have to have some depth behind Dalvin Cook. You have Madison, although he could be traded. He's been in trade rumors. You have Kane Wongwu, Ty Chandler, who you picked up a couple weeks ago in the draft. I really, really like this running back room. It has depth for Dalvin Cook, who I expect to have another stellar season coming off of back-to-back-to-back 1,000-yard seasons. He looked great in 2021 
for the Vikings as well as Alexander Madison. Here's what he's done in the first 42 games of his career. Now, we've talked about him being in trade rumors. Other teams that are looking for a running back may be interested in trading for him. The Vikings have a lot of depth, which makes Madison a trade target. I mean, you trade him to a lot of other teams, a lot of other teams, he might be the he might be the number one back. So it's going to be interesting to see what the Vikings opt to do with Madison. Where would you rank the Vikings running back room? Scale it 1 to 32. Go down in the comments section. Let me know. It's the pinned comment on today's video. When an ad break comes, go down. Let me know what you think. Are the Vikings in the top five? Now, they, uh, CBS Sports released their top 100 players in the NFL. Three Vikings made the cut. Two of them were honorable mentions. This is a very talented Vikings team, one that probably underachieved a little bit last year that should be back in the playoffs this season. Here were the Vikings on the list. So you have Justin Jefferson making the top 15, which he should. Dalvin Cook is in the top 50. Harrison Smith barely making the cut. And then Kirk Cousins and Hunter were the honorable mentions on the list. Before we get into that list, we're breaking down more about it. Help us reach 5,000 subscribers. We're getting very, very close. We need exactly 400 more. Let's do it by the end of June. Producer Jack, is that the goal? Let's get it done by the end of June. We need 400 more. If you're a Vikings fan, if you're all about Minnesota, go down and subscribe to the channel. Talking about the top 100 players, Justin Jefferson is obviously going to be very high up on that list. One of the best receivers in the National Football League. I scratch my head and I'm like, how did, how did this guy fall to the Vikings in the draft two years ago? 3,000 yards in his first two seasons, 17 touchdowns. We obviously had very high expectations for this guy coming into the league. He has exceeded those expectations. He is already a superstar, and next offseason is likely to be paid a big time. Talking about someone else that made the list, that is Dalvin Cook. You know, he's one of the better running backs in the National Football League, so I would have ranked him a little bit higher than 41, uh, maybe top 30, 35, but he absolutely belongs in the top 50. They put him at 41st overall. And then Harrison Smith, Someone else who barely made the cut, 114 tackles last season, one interception. Now you look at his coverage stats, he just allowed one touchdown, had seven pass breakups, is great in coverage as the safety, and it's going to be fun to see what he can do this season. And then Kirk Cousins as well uh, was an honorable mention selection, so he didn't make the top 100, and you know, Kirk, he's not an elite quarterback, but he's good. He's fine. Uh, you know, I think he's going to put up pretty big numbers again this season. Look what we did last year. Over 4,200 yards, 33 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. I don't disagree with him not making the top 100, but he definitely deserved at least an honorable mention nod, which they gave him. Is Kirk Cousins the guy in Minnesota? Type 1 for yes or 0 for no down in the comment section. Do you believe Kirk Cousins can bring a Super Bowl to Minnesota? Getting into our next player, and that's Hunter. You know, out of LSU, he was, he was a stud. And I look, at, I look at Hunter, and I am shocked that he did not make the top 100 because he had 29 combined sacks in 2000 and 18 and 2019 I get it he only played in seven games last season but he absolutely should have been a top 100 player on this list I mean yes I I know he didn't play in 2020 but look at what he did the two seasons before that he is a top 100 player in this league still contrary to what CBS Sports said revisiting this list so they had Justin Jefferson Dalvin Cook Harrison Smith Three Vikings making the list, and then two honorable mention selections with Cousins and Hunter. Who is your favorite player on the Vikings? Go down in the comments section and let me know. Is it Kirk Cousins? Is it Dalvin Cook? Is it a rookie, perhaps? Let me know who your favorite player on the Vikings is.